Hello, good evening. Is anybody there? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Check. Hello, hello, Blanca, Brenda, Freddy's, Mariela. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, teacher, we can hear you. You can hear us? Hello, hello. Hello. No, he has problems. Yeah, he has okay. problems. Perfect. So I couldn't hear you. So I had I had the the mute button on. Hmm. Okay. So this 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 way, I think I will hear you better. Um. Uh, yeah. Definitely much better. So, uh, Brenda, Blanca, uh, Mariela, and Freddy's, welcome to the session number 24. Thanks, teacher. I'm eating right now. <laughs> You're eating, bon right? I, I imagine I'm that always, somebody was eating. I'm always, I'm always eating. Okay, <laughs> enjoy. Okay, Fred is working hard in that picture. <laughs> and Brenda? Yes, teacher, I'm you? here. Nothing, teacher. I'm just here waiting for the class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the connection is good. Yeah. Okay, nice. So how how are you feeling on this Friday? We're one of the favorite days for the majority of people. Not for everybody, yeah. but for the majority. That's true. Very happy because tomorrow at uh, at the end I'll take some rest. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Diana, Maritza, welcome. Thank Elizabeth. You. Good evening. Everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Did you have a good day today? Yes, I have the the afternoon uh, free. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I feel a little bit sleepy because I took a nap. <laughs> oh, I thought, ab I thought about that, but if I took a nap, I had the risk of not waking up. So I was like, okay, now do something else. <laughs> Uh, I I set my alarm, so <laughs> that's what happened to me always. I take a I take a nap, and then I never wake. Yeah, it's just like the Sleeping Beauty, right? Yeah. So that's what you can say next time. I'm sorry, but I'm a princess. Which princess? The Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I don't remember if she had a name. Bella is her name. Aurora. <laughs> Aurora? Aurora. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not. Her I'm name not very, is Aurora. I'm not very good at uh, princess's names. <laughs> okay, so Aurora is the name. Perfect. That's my speciality. <laughs> That's my speciality. Okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. So um let's see who else is here. Francisco and Ruth, welcome. Hey, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello. How was your day, Francisco? Was it good? Yes. Good um today. I apply, aplicar, me aplicaron right. la última dosis, apply the, the last oh, okay. dosis. So they applied the last dose for you. Oh, okay, yes. okay. So which which uh, vaccine did you get? Uh, la chinita. The Chinese one. Yes, uh, the same that the song. 
Dan de what? De, de, de same that the song. The sun. La chinita se perdió, yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me there. I didn't get it at first. Okay. And the same as the yes. song. Okay, yes. yeah, I got the same one. Um, oh, did anybody okay. get a different one? Um, uh, no. so, I don't know. What is what is the Chinese? The Sinovac. That's the, the one. Sinovac, yes. Uh -huh. mm, they put me AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca, mm. okay. Did you have any side effects? Yeah. No, and everybody tells that always have side effects, and I didn't. Okay. Well, uh, for me, the second dose is in August. August. Ah, okay. August so you 21. Have one. Yeah, only one. Okay, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How is it going? <clears throat> All it's okay, teacher. All is okay. Are you ready for the part two? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope that Juan Jose gets online today because yesterday he was uh, a little bit, uh, I don't know, I think it should, he was a little uh, embarrassed, like, oh, I gave the, the answer to the, to the girls. So, uh, Trees, uh, Jennifer, Jackie, Floor, Suleyma, welcome back. Are you feeling better today? Ms. Mendez, Suleyma, can you hear me? So, I'm going to start. Uh, Hi, hello. Hi, Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Happy that you're here again. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, so it's good to have you back. And Floor, Jennifer, and Ruth, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Floor. Teacher, okay. I, Hi. I just going to drive to my house. Oh my but goodness. I I let you know when I get home. When you get home but okay. I did my homework. So I can send you. Okay, okay, perfect. Uh well, in case you don't remember, the assignment was for you to practice the conversation, right? Uh so we're going to we're going to say it in, in purse today. And um let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see who else is here. Rolando, I'm going hello, to take, teacher. Hello, welcome. I'm going to take the attendance um, right now. Are you driving, Rolando? Yes, I'm. I'm driving. Okay, okay. Uh, but I'm here. I'm here with you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, be careful, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. So we're going to be waiting for you. Um, let me see. The first one, Beatriz, is already here. Yes, teacher. Nice. Uh, Elizabeth. Mariela. I'm here. Okay, Brenda. I'm here, teacher. Diana. I'm here. Floor is driving. Francisco. I'm here, teacher. Laura. Not here. Harvin. Not here yet. Jennifer. Juan Jose. Teacher, I'm here. Okay, I know. I was just waiting for you to, to listen to me. Uh, let me check. 
Karen. Not here yet. Uh, Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Okay, there you go. Then we have Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. All right, right on time. <laughs> yeah, right. just on time. Okay, <laughs> just on time, that's right. Okay, Thank welcome, you. mister. So we continue with Rolando who's driving and then we have Ruth. Ruth and Suleyma. I'm here. Janari. It's not here yet. Okay, Jackie. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Blanca. I'm here. And Freddy's. I'm here. Okay, so now we hear your voice, Freddy. That's good. Let's Hi, get... teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You already right. says my, no, my name. But yeah, I, I just here. mentioned it. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance. I'm going to change it. Okay, got it. So I got you, man. Uh, welcome. So it's time to start talking, okay? And as we wait for some classmates more, because you need to practice the conversation in first. Okay, Ruth, thank you. Juan Jose is in the house. I saw that he was connecting. Let me check. Yeah, there you are. Yes, in this moment, I am connecting. Okay, did you already have your your coffee? And I get no. <laughs> How many coffees do you, do you hear? Do you, do you hear? I, I, was, Drink. I was reading the chat. How many coffees do you drink uh, a day? A day? Yeah? Um, three or four. Three or four? A day. Wow. In the morning, at night, um, maybe one or two intermediate. Okay. And they you know, say that the maximum that somebody should drink or could drink is five in a day, maximum. But preferably, I think that two will be okay, two or three maximum. Depending on how hard, how strong the coffee is, right? So that that also, that, yes. And what kind of coffee it is, because if it's if it's just instant coffee, might be a little bit more, um, let's say, harmful, right, for our health. How do you say descafeinado? Decaf. Decaf. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see, Francisco. How about you? Do you drink coffee? Um. Regularly. No. 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 Uh, I prefer a drink of water or, or juice. Coca Cola. Or juice. Oh, Coca Cola. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Uh, I prefer, I prefer Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that Roland is Team Pepsi. Pepsi. But, uh -huh. but the coffee is, is delicious. Yeah. With, with tamal. A lot of tamales. I like. With corn tamales. Okay, yeah. I agree with you. Harvin, sorry, I didn't hear you. I drink coffee t-shirt, but just when I when I am at home. When you're home, not at the work. Yes, not at the work. Ah, okay. Uh, Beatriz? I usually drink a cup of coffee. One or two cup of coffees every day without sugar. Without sugar, okay. Yeah, but only at home. I. Only Oh. I don't drink coffee at, at the office. Okay, Maritza. What about you? I drink six hey. cup of coffee. Six cups today. of coffee. Wow. A little cup or big cup? <laughs> um, big cup. A big cup probably is a mug like like this one. Okay. This one? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is a big cup. Big. Yeah, but uh, right now I'm not drinking coffee. I'm just, I just have a little bit of tea, Thai tea. Um, yeah, I like it with milk. Uh, Mariela, how about you? <laughs> I drink coffee, but just in the office. Only in the office. Okay. Yes, like two, huh? two cups. Got it. Diana? 
Um, I don't really like coffee, but it's Blanca kind of weird. propaganda. Uh -huh. But it's kind of what? Weird because in the pregnancy, uh -huh. I I wish drink coffee, but because of I have a sickness, gastritis. Gastritis. Uh -huh. Gastritis. So I I cannot drink coffee. Maybe decaf. Maybe. Maybe. Uh huh. Okay. Or there's another one that is made of corn, like cafe de maíz. It's not bad. You really? Could, yeah, you could try it out. Yeah. Okay. It's delicious. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna look for it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Um. Okay. Let's see, Blanca, the Coca-Cola girl. Yeah, I'm the Coca-Cola girl because I don't like coffee. I always drink. Mm, cold drinks. Well, when I drink coffee, it's it's like frozen, something like that, because I don't like the coffee cup. The, the hot coffee you oh, prefer hot is cup, cold. The uh -huh. hot coffee, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it. Miguel Angel? And now... In my case, teacher, in... In a, in a week, in a week, I drink coffee only one uh, one times in the morning. Mm. E, I drink a little uh, cup coffee. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a little. That's fine. Yes. And then we have Freddy's. Is Freddy's is not okay. Yeah. Only in the morning, teacher. Only in the morning. Okay, perfect. For breakfast. For breakfast. Yeah. Got it. And let me check. After Freddy's, we have Jennifer. <coughs> Jennifer, Gisela. Hello. Hello. Uh huh. Teacher, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. Ah, uh, okay. No, I was just asking you if you're a coffee person or how many cups of coffee do you drink, or if you drink or you don't. I usually drink uh two cups or in a day. One in the morning, yeah. One in the morning, yeah. And sometimes I I drink one in the afternoon. But in the morning is like um obligatory for me because if I don't drink coffee, I get a headache. I get a headache. Okay, so yeah, you are a coffee holic. <laughs> You're yeah. a coffee addict. That's right. Yeah, when you get a headache, it's it's because of that. You are you are a little yeah, bit um, addicted to it. Coffee with um dark without sugar, americano. I like. Oh, okay. Almost espresso. <laughs> yeah, Got I like. It. Okay. If, okay. I, if I if I drink with um, como como sería realito or no sé, I don't like it. Okay, I don't know how to say realito. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like uh, the coffee. You how a little bit. Okay, excellent. Let's go on with the next person. Um, Jackie. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, I drink always a cup of coffee uh, for breakfast. Oh, also, okay. in the afternoon, I drink a cold Ooh. coffee, like frappe or, mm -hmm. or maybe um, frozen. Interesting. Yeah, in the afternoon, it's, it's a good option, right? If you can drink it because it's hot. 
but I I like Capri. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's continue with. I don't know who's missing. Uh, well, who can activate the microphone? Actually, uh, we have Ruth, Brenda, uh, Laura. Then we have uh, Suleima, Elizabeth. I don't know who wants to try it out. The last, the last one. Because of time, we're just going to listen to one more person, and then we go on with the next activity. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Teacher. Uh -huh. sorry, sorry, I was not listening to you because I went for water. Oh, okay, okay. Now, uh, just the last, the last participation about uh, coffee. We're talking about coffee. <laughs> ah, okay. If I like coffee or how Hi, frequently you drink, do I? Drink, et cetera, yeah. Exactly. Ah, okay. Yes, I love coffee. For me, it's one of the best drinks you can have in the world. And actually, here in my in the zone in which I live, uh -huh. here they made um, Café Mahalauro. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so nice. When you are driving and you pass in front of that place, it's like the best Work. smell you can have in the morning. <laughs> okay, you're part of my team. Where, where is that? Exactly in La Majada, close to Huayua. Okay, wow, what a lucky girl you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm very yeah. blessed. Yeah, okay, awesome. La Majada, that sounds like a place to go. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thank you so much. So you drink a couple or three a day? Um, yeah, from two and more than that. Okay, perfect. So coffee is uh, something that people drink, right? And uh, for different purposes, right? As they say, it's, there's a, they say, right, that coffee is always a, a good excuse. So it's a social, I think it is a social component or social element, because a lot of people use that as a, as a, let's say as a reason to get together or to have a conversation or see each other. So it's, it's, I mean, it's always a good idea. That's why they say, right? Coffee is always a good idea. Let's go to La Mahala. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, welcome to La Mahala, everybody. <laughs> okay. If I didn't have plans on vacations, I would probably go, but I will see. Um, now let's, I'm going to share the link uh, through the chat with you guys. So remember that yesterday we were uh, discussing the question, right? Uh, some questions and we also had the conversation. And uh, I'm just going to show it again because some people were not able to, to be here yesterday or for that part of the class. And uh, it was this one right here. Let me share the screen with you. So today we're going to have a lot of things to do because on Monday, that is the last session, right? We're not going to be working too much on the content and more on the skills, on closing the, the module and uh, filling out the, the survey, right? The satisfaction survey. And um, some surprises, a couple of surprises there. Oh my God. Now, uh, I have all the weekend to plan that. You can imagine. It did. <laughs> uh, uh, we can finish the platform during the weekend. Uh, yes, tomorrow, actually. Okay. It would be like the, the last. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because on Monday, I, I'm going to update everything in the morning, and that's it. Stephanie. I'm going to ask in case they say that Monday is still available, but but I would say that you finish it this, this weekend, uh, especially tomorrow, so that on Sunday you don't think about anything that has to do with homework or work. 
Um, so the conversation is uh, between Diego and, and uh, Stacy, right? So it goes like that. Uh, you can repeat after me, okay? If you can, you don't have to turn on the microphones. It's just for pronunciation purposes. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. Stacy, it says major task of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think they need to, I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Let them know. You can say let them, right? Let them know. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send, send them. That's another one. Send them. Uh, send them an email to let them know. So that's the conversation. And we have some questions, okay? Uh, these questions are for everybody right now. Is it only new employees who need training? Yes, no, and why? My goodness. I think I'm no t-shirt. No. Why not, Harvin? Because everyone has some areas that we need to improve. Okay, for example? For example, when you are working in and summed up and so to work, you maybe didn't know the, the correct process and you have to remember sometimes. Okay. Somebody how else you who have wants, to do it. Uh -huh, how you have to do it. Somebody who wants to add up to what Harbin already mentioned. I think that we always have to renew or innovate everything that we learn. Update, and right? Update, that's right. Update everything that we know because always it's changing the, the things that, that we do. The so we have to learn about that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, we have to update everything. And that's a const constant training i think it is it is okay thank you so much blanca and harbin somebody who has a similar opinion or a different opinion nope Chair. hi Beatrice. uh i think everybody sometimes need a training mm -hmm. uh, in, not especially for your tasks, but you need the training for for another areas like customer service, uh, new things that you had to improve in your work uh, about behavior or emotional attitude uh, and, and, and another ones. So, uh, for that reason, I think uh, everybody uh, needs training because you have to be outdated every day. Update, updated, right? Updated. Updated okay. every day. Up, up, updated, that's correct. Out, outdated, that would be the opposite, right? Outdated, so updated. Very good, excellent. Thank you so much. Yes, I totally agree with you, okay? I couldn't agree more. That's another way to say I agree with you. I couldn't agree more. So um, what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Imagine that you are a manager. Some of you probably are in a position where there are other people that you can train. So what would you do if somebody comes and tells you, hey, boss, I would like to get a training uh, for example, I am a teacher and I go to the principal's office and I say, hey, I would like to, to get a training on how to use uh, platforms to teach online. 
So what would you do if you were my, my, my manager, my boss, my principal? In my case, teacher, I look at a training for you. I would, I would look. I, I would look at training for you mm -hmm. because if you ask me about that, it's because you need it. So uh, I know that training, uh, 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 training uh, help you to improve uh, your teaching. Exactly. Okay. Somebody else? I remember that somebody mentioned, I'm not sure if it was Karen, that in her job, uh, they have air conditioner, right? And they break down sometimes. So, or they have some problems or they need maintenance and they train some employees to do that. So they don't have to be waiting for company to go and fix their, the air conditioners. So that's, that's something really important. Okay. Um, so that's the example. Okay. Those are the questions that we were discussing. And right now we're going to start with the conversations. Who wants to start? Check in the, in the participants. If you see your, your partner, right? Your comadre or compadre for the conversation so that you can do it right now. Okay. Beatriz, who are you working with? Jacqueline, teacher. With Jackie. Okay, so who is Diego and who's Stacy? I'm Diego. Okay, ready, Jackie? Yes, I'm ready. Nice, I like that attitude. Optimistic, right? <laughs> and that's what that's what I do. I and I tell my students, you have to say I'm ready, even if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's an ability. It's an ability that you develop, right? To say like, okay, I'm going to do it, and you have no clue how you're going to do it. So, or you answer something, a question, right? And you don't, you don't, you are not sure about the answer, but you you demonstrate that you are sure. So how many hearts does an octopus have? Five, teacher, are you sure? Yes, it's incorrect. Oh, okay, I thought that it was five. But inside you, you knew that you were not sure, you were just guessing, right? So that's something important, right? To demonstrate confidence, even when you are nervous. So, uh, and that happens when you have conversation with, with uh, somebody mentioned in the, in the chat, right? With gringo, with a gringo. So this is a conversation. Like if you are from, I don't know, from Alaska, right? So hello, my name is Pedro, Paulo, right? Um, Marmol and, uh, I'm from San Miguel. What about you? So you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid because that's the way that you expose yourself and you get experience because it, I mean, if you wait for the perfect moment when you feel that your English is at the best level and you have the first conversation until that moment, it's going to be too late. So you have to start taking baby steps, right? Baby steps. So um, keep that in mind, okay? So whenever you have an opportunity to interact with someone in English, that is not the teacher, it's not your classmates, it's not your family, do it. Uh, I used to travel. I used to travel to Santa Rosa, to La Union, to Sulutan because of my job. And when I saw some tourists, I, you can tell when somebody's not from El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I used to have, get close to them and, and start talking to them like, hey, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Freddy. Uh, where are you from? Sorry. And I had a conversation on the bus, on the street. So for me, that was like my opportunity to practice, okay? And then you get confidence, little by little, little by little. So Beatrice and Jackie, ready, set, and go. Hi, Jackie. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task, the position. Ah, servers are in change of handling pool correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget the servers had to be friendly. I think we need to hold them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, 
let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and send them and send them an email to let them to let them know. Sorry. Okay, there you go. Excellent reactions for the two ladies, please. Thank you, uh, Jackie and Beatriz. Next volunteers, please. We are going to have as many volunteers as we can, right? So, Diana, who is your partner? Karen. Who? Karen. Karen. Mm -hmm. Is Karen here? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think she's not here right now. Oh, okay. Maybe she's driving. So we're I can help you, Diana. Oh, oh, okay, that's, thank that's you. good. Who said okay. I can help you? I think it was... Ana Beatriz. Beatriz. Okay, yes. Beatriz, just give me a moment. I'm going to check if there is somebody who couldn't participate yesterday. Okay. Maybe they can do it today. So, Suleyma, maybe? Suleyma or Elizabeth or Ruth, I think she didn't have, well, she was in a group with other two people. Uh, I'm not sure if Laura was in one of the groups, but if they're not, uh, Miguel, sorry, who are you working with? Or you don't have a partner? Yesterday, the, you said, uh, um, Juan Jose with me. Ah, Juan Jose is with you. Okay, perfect. So we're going to, let's wait a little bit, Diana, just in case uh, Karen comes in a moment. And okay. let's give the chance um, to, uh, well, Jennifer, raise a hand. Jennifer, who is your partner? Mariela. Mariela, okay. So we have Jennifer and Mariela right now. Perfect. And then we go with Miguel and Juan Jose. Ready, set, and go. We we will use this chart to analyze the training needs for of our new server. It says major text of the position. Uh, servers are in charge in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, server has to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and um, personal appearance. They look a bit messy. messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and just send them an email, let them know. To let them know. Okay, reactions. Let me check. What did I press? Wait a second. Going to move. Somebody wrote in the chat. I would like to read the conversation after me. Okay, Jessica, let me check if Janari is here, Ruth. Uh, Jessica, Jessica. No, Jessica is not here right now. So maybe if uh, after Miguel and Juan Jose, uh, we don't have Janari or Karen, you can practice with Diana. So uh, Juan Jose and Miguel, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I okay. can hear you. Ready, set, lights, camera, action. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, we will use this chart of analyze the training need of our new servers. It's a major tech of the position. Our servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have short training a several day in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. To let them know, correct. Thank you so much, guys, gentlemen. So we continue and I think somebody raised a hand. Wait a second. Uh, okay, Floor. Floor and Francisco. Uh, who is your partner, Floor? I think it's Maritza. Maritza. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Ready. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That's the attitude. Ready, set, go. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major test of the position. Ah, server are in change of in handling food charge. Yeah. Of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Nice. Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let to let them know. And to let them know. Okay, reactions, please. Thank you, ladies. I love it. Francisco, who's your partner? Yes, I remember it's Harvin. Harvin. Okay, Harvin. And then I think Rolando raised his hand. Okay, so Francisco and Harvin. Okay. Ready? This is this is Hollywood, okay? So we're having an audition right now. So for the, the new Titanic movie. So <laughs> we're going to listen to the two new actors, Harbin and Francisco. Ready, set, go. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training need to our new servers. Okay. I say major tax of the position as service are in shares of handling food currently and precision payment currently. In a further server, how to, how to be friendly. I think we need to have then with without morning um, grooming? personal grooming grooming and um, personal appearance appearance they look a bit missing okay let's have a short training next saturday in the morning i will organize everything and i just send them an email to let them know to let them know Okay, so reactions for Harvin and Francisco, please. Uh, when you see these uh, expressions like, ah, or wow, these are called interjections, okay? So remember that something particular about English is, I think, and I feel that is more expressive than, than, than Spanish, okay? If you see a conversation between two people in Spanish and you see a conversation between two people in English, you can tell the difference about the energy or the feeling, right, they, they have. So uh, in English, it's very loud and they go up and down, up and down, right? Like, hey, what's up? This and the other. Not much, man, you know, this and the other. But in Spanish, it's more like, so, que tal? Bien, usted? Bien. It's like, there is no a lot of ups and downs, like a lot of emotion, right? Except if your personality is like that. But normally the language is not very expressive, like with, uh, with a lot of uh, intonation and uh, exclamations. It's not like that, okay? So English sounds a little bit more, um, I don't know, sophisticated when you're, when you're um, pronouncing the sounds, right? You say car. And in Spanish, you say Carmen, right? So it's it's very, 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 I don't know, soft or simple. However, Spanish is more complicated than English uh, because there are many rules, many uh, conjugations. So everything has pros and cons, but about English, if you see, uh, they speak with a little bit more uh, feeling, I would say. So you have to pay attention to those little details, right? Because when you're communicating, uh, as you said yesterday, right? Teacher, you sound different when you speak Spanish. But it's because of that, okay? I, I, I know that English is like this. And I, I adapt to the way that we speak Spanish here in, 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 in our country, right? So it's a matter of uh, adapting to the, the way the language is. Because in England, they speak in a, in, a, in a different way than the United States. Uh, so it's more uh, like elegant and kind of boring, I would say. It's not so cool, 
Okay, but it sounds very sophisticated. Sophisticated, you know, Harry Potter, the the movie, uh, a, a bottle of water, and and they go like that, right? So um, it sounds sophisticated, but it's not so cool as uh, the English that, that we speak here in, in America, right? Um, now let's go on. Uh, Rolando, who is your partner? Me. Freddy's and Rolando. <laughs> yes, Blanca, that's Harry Potter. So, um, Harry Potter. Okay. Diego. San Diego. And go. Go ahead. Will, okay. We will use this chart to anal analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget, server has to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They yes. look at appearance. Yeah. Okay, thank you. They look a bit messy. 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 But messy not like, from Barcelona. No, no, no. Messy no, like no, Leo, Messi like Lionel. No, it's another Messi. <laughs> this is disorganized. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, to let okay, them know. nice. Right. Very nice, very nice. Excellent, very nice. Correct. Thank you so much. So uh next volunteer. Who is that? So we said that it was going to be Ruth. And let me check if Yanari is here. No. So Ruth, you are going to practice with Diana. Uh, Ruth, are you going to be Diego or Stacy? Uh, Diego. Diego. Okay. So Diana, you are Stacy. Okay. Ready? Lights, camera, action. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major text of the position. Our servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Nice. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. To let them know, that's correct. So thank you so much. The pronunciation of the verb is analyze with the sound z at the end, right? Like a little b, analyze. Excellent, analyze. thank you, Ruth okay. and Indiana. We continue with the next volunteers. Do we have any volunteers or we continue to the next activity? Three, two, one. Miguel Angel, you raise your hand. Miguel? Okay, maybe that was by mistake, so no problem. Uh, who's missing here? Laura? Excuse uh, me, teacher. Brenda? Hello? Excuse me. No, I don't. I don't uh, raise my hand. Ah, okay, okay. So it was yes. a mistake. I haven't participated, yes. teacher. But but right now you have to do it. You have a partner. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a partner, Brenda? I remember that was Laura. I guess. Okay, so Laura is here. Yes, I'm here. Okay, it's not Laura from the song, okay. right? Because Laura in the song. It's not, it's not present, yeah, she left. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's Laura is here, okay. Uh -huh. Laura is here, <laughs> let's change the lyrics. <laughs> okay, so Laura si esta, right? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> ready, set, and go. Okay, well, we'll use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the position. Oh, servers are the 
are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Perfect, I agree, let's do it. Thank you so much, everybody. A big round of applause, a big round of applause for all of you. So we're going to move on. Show must go on, as Queens used to say. And well, we have the importance of training programs discussion. This is session number 24, before last, the before last one. And let's talk about entertainment quickly. So for this, I, I already sent the link to the chat. You can check it out. But before uh that I just want to remind you, right, that we are going to be uh, doing a couple of activities more. And uh, I am anticipating you that over the weekend, what you will have to do is to prepare a, a minute speech. So you will speak for one minute about a topic. So that's going to be one of the, uh, well, the main assignment that you will have for the weekend. Think about a topic that you like, okay, that you know about or that you are interested about, and you will uh, prepare a mini speech for one minute. You will speak for one minute nonstop. So on Monday, what we're going to do is to create small breakout rooms with four or five participants maximum. Can, and one by one, you are going to do I your do speech. Can I do a presentation? Uh, PowerPoint. Can I do a presentation? You can create a presentation, like a visual presentation with PowerPoint, Prezi, or any yeah. other app, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you cannot include text. Only headings. Yeah. Only headings, Only right? The titles. Image. Uh -huh. And images. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Yeah. But everything has to be natural. It's spontaneous, yeah. right? Not reading what you're going to say. Okay? So, something natural. So, I'm going to tell you about BTS, right? So, this is a a Chinese band who was uh, composed, is composed by five men and they love to dance and they like Chinese food. Chinese band? Yeah, I like to, joke, I like to joke about that because I know that it, they are not from China. But, um, no. and then and then you, you speak uh, for one minute nonstop, right? So the idea is to do it fluently with a lot of, uh, so I want you to, to do that activity to finish. Um, the, the module, right? So it's going to be an independent, a free activity because you choose the topic, okay? My time my time to shine, it's coming. Okay, there you go. So mm -hmm. it's one minute minimum, maximum, if you want to speak a little bit more, 30 seconds, okay? So that's one minute and a half maximum because of time, okay? Because of time. But uh, it's just to give you the experience, right? Of, of doing that by yourself, preparing a little speech in English and say it to a group of people, okay? Without reading, without help from any teacher, just you, okay? So um, let's talk about entertainment. So take, take a look at the link, it's in the chat. I already sent it to you and I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms right now. We have 19 people, we have five minutes, then we come back, I take the attendance and we move to the next, the next activities. So I'm um, going to create the breakout rooms, eight, nine, eight would be okay. So let's check, one, two, three, good. One, two, three, correct. One, two, one, two, perfect. One, two, one, two. And I'm just going to move one, two, one, two, and over here. So one, two, three, perfect. So ready, set, and go. Entertainment, that is the topic. The link is in the chat. You can use it to have the conversations. Ready, set, go. I set the invitation, please. Pepe Le Pew, what's that? Oh, the, the, okay, I don't know what happened with Pepe Le Pew, but you explain me later, Francisco. So let's go on. Harry Potter. Ah, <laughs> yes, yeah. okay, the French guy, I remember that.
Okay. Do you have the link? Um, uh, um, do you put a link? No. Um, yeah, okay. I shared that in the chat, but I, I sent it to you right yeah, now. Yes, yes. I, I... Hey, hey, Jennifer. What, what happened, Hi, teacher? Jennifer. I was making some modifications in the groups. Don't worry. Okay. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> How are okay. you? Nice to see you. And where is Jennifer? Hello. Hello, teacher. Oh, Hello, she's teacher. Our group. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, um, Flo, would you like to start with the questions or? Yes, rather, I, yeah? I, I want to do a big important question. Okay. If for both of you, okay. um, <laughs> I love, ah, did you <laughs> like to watch cartoons? Yes, I like cartoons. I like cartoons with my kids every day. I Especially like on weekends. Some anime, but not cartoons per se. Theater. Uh, some anime, yes. And, like and Jennifer? Jennifer is, is in here. another group. Another group. Ah, okay. Um, I don't like anime, but I like a lot of cartoons, cartoons. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I like both of them. I used to watch cartoons, but now I don't. Okay. okay. Yeah. And is in the beginning okay. the the platform not what? Hi Maritza. Hi. Hi Maritza. Well, we're going to do you like to watch cartoons? Yes, I like. Uh, I don't like it a lot of the cartoons, but my daughter loves the Simpsons. Really? Uh, yes. That's not for I don't kids. Know why. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like South Park. <laughs> yes, yes. South that's Park. for adults. Yeah, but I think. South Park is worse. It's worse, yeah, it's worse. Yes, yeah. yes yeah. a lot of. But she and there them. was another cartoon show that it was uh, Happy Tree Friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was No, my insane. God. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're together again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you are okay. the last, the, the two students that are the, at the back of the classroom, right? Yeah. I'm watching <laughs> yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, ask, ask me, Freddy. Let me see. Freddy or Freddy? Just kidding. <laughs> Do you listen to classic music? Um, sometimes. sometimes for me mm -hmm. it's a good music but like Teo Calderon or what kind of classic music do you <laughs> uh, instrumental music <laughs> yeah I like I like, like Beethoven Mozart yeah, yeah. this, this guy yeah, yeah it's, like. it's really good I, I like Radio some some uh, Japanese classical mm. music yeah I, I like really the four seasons it. I love the four seasons four by Vivaldi Ah, Vivaldi. Do you understand the Japanese music? I to listen music when I do the clean. The house chores. The house chores, yes. Uh, the cleaning, when you do the cleaning, yeah. Yes, yes. Is, is, is it true? I, I, is it I, 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 yes, or Aniceto Molina. Uh, <laughs> and I really enjoy okay. him. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Good. You enjoy what? Uh, no, it's uh, we are talking about the last show that we watched yesterday on the TV. But I'm telling oh. that I was watching a YouTuber and he's Jose Serpiente, the the one that speaks <laughs> so funny. He's very serious, but he speaks so funny things. <laughs> okay, I never heard about. Uh, and you know, Jose Jose YouTuber. <laughs> He ah, talked about the politics yeah. in Salvador, yeah, but he's yeah, so I, funny I when he explains things. Yeah, <laughs> Politically, it's a trend. It's a trend. Uh -huh. in this <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, routine. Normal routine. 
and begin to talking. And suddenly, suddenly, a happen a situation, very difficult situation. Um, and the and then the, the when I when I want when I want when I would like to drink. Yeah, yeah, but I drink with, no, with to drink. in occasion. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow maybe I will drink uh two beers, watching the the soccer play. Yeah, and, yeah. Teacher, you came Hello? just in time. Why? <laughs> yeah. What for? How how can we say that uh -huh. we get a vicio. vicio de una serie? Oh, you become addicted. You get an addiction. Ah, yes. I am yeah. become addicted ah, yeah. to Grey's right. Anatomy. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is Laura, Laura, Laura doesn't, doesn't saw Friends didn't too. See. Didn't see Friends Did, uh, either. Didn't see uh, yeah, yeah. Didn't see didn't Friends. Didn't see Friends either. Either. There you go. Either. 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 For the Mary. Yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't either. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. Lo, Laura does didn't see, didn't see friends, friends either. either. No, yeah. Laura. Sorry for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> you will watch it one day. Yeah. I watch. <laughs> I recommend it to you for, especially if you watch it in English, it's amazing. It's really good for English. Yeah. Okay. I watch the episodes. Well, I, I have no work. Oh, I only heard. Yeah, I only heard the episodes because I know what they say. Uh -huh. But in my case, I can speak fluid, but I can listen so well. I I understand everything that people okay. say. So or... that's the first step. You understand. Later, you can speak. Some friend that they do that, and they, I they I. Can stop. Yes, they can stop and I say, hey, the party is good. What happened? Uh, really? But I, yes, but I feel that I have learned a lot. Uh, I agree with you. I learned more in more in these courses than three courses that I took before. Yes, but I think that depends too of the group because if you remember the group that Uh huh. So mm -hmm. there were all kinds of information in those conversations, talking about drinks, about soap operas, yeah, things that I cannot mention. But yeah, what happens here stays here, so don't worry. What happens in the breakout rooms <laughs> stays there. Now we're going to. Uh, I feel like what happened in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you can you can watch the the. the <laughs> The video so, later, and you will and you will see what they were talking in the breakout rooms. Um, yeah, that was probably somebody mentioned that. Okay, so guys, let me check who's here. Uh, Beatriz, yes, I'm here. Okay, Elizabeth, Mariela, I'm here. Sorry. Okay, as we're as we're talking about entertainment, instead of saying I'm here or present or here, uh, mention a, a favorite. Well, mention one movie that you like. Okay, one movie that you like in English or Spanish, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So, Beatriz. Uh, well, my favorite movie is I don't know how do you say in English, but is. Uh, it's about a dog. It's called Hachi. Hachi, that's the movie. Yeah. Hachi. Yeah. Hachiko. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So you only say the name of the movie, okay? Instead of saying present. So you say Hachi. Very good. Hachi. Mariela? Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Very good. Brenda? Latin lover. How to be a Latin lover. Okay. Uh -huh. Diana. Yeah, honey, her best is, is awesome. Uh, I like one day. One day. 
-hmm. Okay, interesting. I never heard that. Uh, Floor? Aladdin. Aladdin. I'm not sure if it is Aladdin or Aladdin. Mm, I'm going to check, but. But, but with real people. Yeah, the, the new, uh, uh -huh, the new movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So that, that is called live action. Live action. The live action version of the movie. It's like the Lion King. Uh, Francisco. Uh, Lucky, for example. Lucky. Yes. Lucky, lucky. Um, it's a series. The series. Okay, that's it's, okay. It's I, I take lucky. the series. That's okay. Laura? Um, I'm here, and my favorite movie is Moana. Moana. Harvin? Yeah. <laughs> the Justice League. The Justice League. The new version, right? The new. Yeah, the new Snyder version. Scott. Yes. Okay. The Snyder Four Cut. hours, but I enjoy it's it. It's good. It's so good. <laughs> Jennifer? In movies, Brother Pierce in series, my favorite series uh, is a start up as so Korean. Okay, Korean, Korean uh, soap opera, drama, okay, drama. Then we have Juan Jose. Uh, the good, the bad, and the godly. The good, the bad, and the godly. Ugly. Ugly, oh, okay, ugly. okay. Okay, the ugly. Uh, Karen is not here yet, I think. Uh, Maritza? Mm, my favorite say, um, my favorite novel is um, Betty La Fea. Ah, in that case, it's my favorite soap opera. Soap opera. We know. Soap opera. <laughs> uh, when novel is for the book. Novel, novel is for oh, the book. Okay. Uh -huh. So soap mm -hmm. opera is for the TV. Right, so okay. Then we continue with the but the the the, the Colombian version, right? Yes. Okay. And New York, um, Betty in ah, New, New York. York. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> Miguel. The minions, teacher. The minions, <laughs> awesome. I like the minions. They're cool. Uh, Rolando. Orlando? For me, it's better Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice. I need to see that movie. I haven't watched it. I have never yeah, watched it's that movie. Yeah, really amazing. I always say that I'm going to watch it, but I, but I don't yeah. do it. Yeah, maybe I'm with, with Winona. Winona Ryder. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Ruth, what about you? Here, I. Uh... Maybe you don't like them, but I like the Harry Potter saga. I love <laughs> and... Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, yes, I love the, the saga of Harry yes. Potter. Okay. And uh, I love the uh, a serie Bones. 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 Okay. Bones. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Suleyma? Yanari? Uh, I like Shrek. Shrek. My favorite okay. free movie is Shrek. <laughs> nice. Yes. Jackie? For me, the best uh, uh, movie I've ever seen is Lagan. It's an Indian movie. Hmm, okay. From Bollywood. India, from Bollywood, yeah. Indian movies are good. From Bollywood. Yeah, they have good movies. And that and that movie takes more than three hours. Wow. The Titanic. Okay. Blanca. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The Prisoner of Azkaban. Okay. Yeah. Um, that was the. I think that was. Yeah. That, the third that was, one. The third one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Freddy's? Actually, I like uh, <laughs> Straight Out of Canton. Who? Straight Out of Canton. It's an NWA. It's actually it's about rap. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Thank you for sharing, guys. So oh, that was that was cool. Okay. Teacher, in your I had a doubt. Oh, mine. 
Well, mm -hmm. uh, for the creativity and all the the world that that he created in the movie, uh, one of my favorites is Avatar. But when the the one with the blue people, the blue aliens from Roland James Cameron. Roland. Yeah. Roland. I, a lot of people don't like it, but for me, it's one of the most beautiful movies I have seen. Yes. Um, what is know, Roland I, Roll? Roland Roll. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So Avatar, that that's, that would be one of the best ones for me. And I, I like one that is an epic one that is called Braveheart with Mel Gibson. It's amazing. Uh, I like biopics, movies based on real life events. That's something that I like a lot. So let me check. Somebody wrote in the chat, but I cannot see it right now. So I'm going to move on. Can you see the exercise number three on your screens? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, um, Rolando, can you please read the indications for this? Okay. Complete the training needs analyze analyze. Analysis. Mm -hmm. Analysis. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Complete the training needs analysis. Mm -hmm. T and A chart using the information from the box. Check your right. answer with a classmate. Excellent. So right now I need you to uh, take a screenshot right quickly. I am going to uh, ask, well, send you to the breakout rooms in pairs, in pairs. So you will have to uh, solve, complete the, the, the chart together, okay? Using the information from the box. So we have 20 people right now. I'm going to create nine breakout rooms quickly. Uh, there's going to be just one group with three participants, okay? Mm. No, oh, I think it's not necessary. I'm going to move somebody to the group number five. Okay, one, two, three, number nine, perfect. So here we go. So you, for this exercise, you only have four minutes, okay? It's not really difficult, but I need you to discuss, okay? In English, ready, set, go. Oh, The Cabin is good. Yeah, The Cabin is a really good movie. Um, there you go. I set the invitation to go to the breakout rooms. Gennady, Ruth, Brenda. Set the invitation to go to the breakout rooms, please. Check it out. Excellent. Janari, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, very good. Hello, Hello. teacher. Hello. I am uh, lost. Okay, don't worry. Ruth is here now. Okay. Hello, Ruth. Hi, Francisco. Do you have the screen, Chef? Okay, let me check. If not, I can share the screen and then you take the screenshot. Okay. 
try it out now. Okay. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, we got it. Employee state. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, give me one for example. Yeah, you have to complete the chart with the information mm -hmm. that appears in the yes. uh, in the box. Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the employee name is Jimmy Marshall. Good. Yeah. Teacher, we have to place each one of these in each one of these. Exactly. You have to spaces, fill in, yeah. you have to complete the, the chart, the TNA chart with the information from the box, the boxes, A, mm -hmm. B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So this is the date. Hmm. Um. Date, letter G, letter G. Uh -huh, that's correct. Uh -huh. Training solutions. Yes. What Training other? solutions. Uh, organizer or provider. Major tasks mm -hmm. of the position. The most important task of the position. Teacher, what the, needs the DNA? Team. Training mm. needs analysis. Oh. Okay. May I... Maybe. Hi, teacher. Hello. Is everything okay? Your help. <laughs> we we don't understand. Okay, so you have to use the information from letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and place it in the correct position in the box in the chart. So, for example, what is the employee name? Is letter F, Jimmy Marshall. Ah. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's the indication. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. You have to you have to pay attention to those little details. The internet connection connection oh, yeah, the, the connection, yeah, the, conne the connection. <laughs> good one. That was a good one. This is clear now. That was creative. Thank yeah. you. That pro problem. The the um, yes, it was that reason. Okay. And for that reason, I have serious problem with my internet. Just I have a teleton. Mm -hmm. Satellite internet. Mm -hmm. Teacher, no, what happened? I don't have. You don't have what? Internet. Wow. So you're using your data yes. plan right now? Yes, just, just, just go with a plan. Oh my God. So sorry about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and she so she had bad so... connection now. Mm. So I I almost by myself. Yeah. <laughs> and Miguel gone. Miguel is gone. Yeah. Yeah, he's working with Freddy's. <gasps> but he he, he was here at the beginning. Really? Yes. Right. Yeah. That's Janari. strange. Yes. Because I yes. didn't move him. So but that's... he he say hi and just that. <laughs> and he disappeared. Okay. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, next time. <laughs> probably. Teaching manager. Do you think? Yes. I think that is the the position. T-shirt. You Teaching are here manager right now? is a position, yes. What is the mean of T and A? Training needs analysis. Mm -hmm. Chart. Ah, okay. un, un cuadro de análisis de necesidades de entrenamiento de capacitación. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. So I think it's time. I'm just going to check one more breakout room and then we go back. 
Okay. Hey, lady. Hi, teacher. Finished? Finito? No. Uh, can you please give us one minute? <laughs> I will tell you the, 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 okay, which one are you missing? The date is September, Saturday 10th. Letter G. That's an easy one. Yeah, but I don't see. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Are you done? What? What? Yeah, actually, teacher, yeah, I think we're missing one of them. Okay, cool. So we're going to finish when we go back to the main room. Uh, I have a question. Uh huh. Actually, I was looking like we have answer for everything. Well, there's only one missing on it. Like, which one? A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We already use all of them except D. Letter D. Mm -hmm. Grooming and personal appearance. Okay. Because in organized provider, we use E, serve, serve order by picking up and delivering patterns choice from bar and kitchen are we right or we're wrong we're going to check right now okay so uh almost i think that everybody was about to finish right because there were some a couple of them who were a little bit that were a little bit confusing so we're going to uh answer this together okay so for the employee name what is the answer? Jimmy Marshall. Marshall. Jimmy Marshall, right? Very good. Uh, training skills needed, yes or no? Yes. 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 Which ones? Sandling credit card. <laughs> Both. Um, Grooming and personal appeal. Up and delivering practice toys. Uh -huh. From bar and kitchen. That's what you what you were trying to say. Yes. Grooming and personal appearance. No. Grooming and personal appearance. Okay, I don't know. So yeah, that's that one that, that you were discussing in the breakout rooms. So that you were not sure. Okay, so let's leave this confusing one till the end. This is something that I, that, I, that I normally do when I'm taking tests, right? You have a lot of questions. The one that is the most difficult one uh, in a group of questions, I leave it at the end. So I try to uh, complete the, the quick ones and then I go to the, to the last one that is the most difficult one. So uh, TNA done so by Stacy Dorr. The microphone, the microphone on and I can hear you. So good, so well. You cannot hear me well. Yeah, someone's watching TV. And now? Hmm. Ah, so okay, watching... now, now here. Yes. Okay, so I turn off. Ah, okay, so it's not my camera. Um, so, the date, easy. September, September Saturday 10. 10. Okay, good. Uh, the organizer or provider? We don't have that information, Tishin. Are you sure? Mm, yes. I think that it's the kitchen, kitchen manager. The kitchen manager, okay? So the kitchen manager has the responsibility of providing training to, their, to the the employees, right? Okay, in the kitchen, obviously. So good, the kitchen manager. Uh, what are the major tasks of the position? E. E, serve orders by picking up and delivering patrons choices from bar and kitchen. Those are the most important tasks. Okay, yes. Uh, training solutions? C. Letter C. Uh -huh. letter C. What is letter C? Practical, practical training, training in, restaurant in restaurant during 
of hours. Of hours, that's correct. Oh. Good. What other areas would you like to improve? This is a personal question, right, sí. for Jimmy. And he says? Handling, Handling credit cards is difficult for me. Handling credit cards is difficult for me because that's a direct question, right? If I ask you right now, hey, Blanca, uh, what other areas would you like to improve? Um, dealing with customers is complicated for me. So, okay, so that's, that's something that, what was that sound? Wow. That was like the monkey. <laughs> Similar to my, my nephew, like a I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my nephew, sorry. Don't worry. You, right now, it's not it's not difficult for me. But at the beginning uh, of the of the online classes, believe me, it was a headache. My cat wanted to be in front on top of my computer on the keyboard. My dog wanted to be next to me, playing with me. My nephew was running around, so that was complicated. But now they know. But my nephew, it's far from me, but he's it's he's loud. screaming. So when when a person is like that, you say, oh, wow, she's loud or he's loud. It's yeah, someone who like, speaks very loudly, right? Like me, like me. Ah, like nephew, like, I mean, that would be like, like aunt, like nephew. Okay, so we're going to uh, move on. And let me check. I got confused. So Blanca, you were right. So. Now my cat's meowing. Uh, I shouldn't have mentioned that. What other areas <laughs> would you like to improve? Uh, you said uh, handling credit cards is difficult for me, right? So now that we already answered all of them and we're missing one, training skills needed, grooming and personal appearance is the only one that we are missing. So that's the answer right there. Excellent. Thank you so much. We're going, you can watch videos uh, about identifying training needs. You can take a look at those two videos later on on YouTube. And show must go on. That was yesterday's picture. So I wanted to share it with you. <laughs> I love Jennifer's pose. That was really cool. Oh my God, Freddy's has glasses. Yeah, Freddy's glasses. glasses. I don't know how he did that, but that was, that was really nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. nice. <laughs> yeah, and Rolando, right? He, he he's he's hilarious. So, and we saw Yanati, even though she has connection plus, she, she was able to turn on the camera for a moment, right? Now, how to use will to be or not to be? That's the question. Um, so in this case, uh, something that you know because it's not the first time that you that you study this topic is that we normally use uh, will to talk about the, the what? Future. The future, okay, the future. So, uh, however, there are some specific rules about how we can use it. Because we have one, two, three, four, four different ways to talk about the future. We can use will, we can use going to, we can use the present continuous and we can use the simple present to talk about the future. So uh, right now we're going to focus on in will. Okay, later we're going to see it will and going and the present continuous. So we can use will to make predictions, to say what you believe will happen in the future. But when you make a prediction using will, you don't have any evidence. It's like uh, Walter Mercado, right? Uh, there is no evidence. Um, he, he was just trying to say the horoscope uh, predictions. Um, or maybe like, like Moises Rubina, right? So uh, it's going, to, I think it will rain tomorrow. And it didn't rain. So, uh, Moises Urbina is a mess. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you, 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 okay, something tells you, right? The answer is in your deep in your heart that it's going to, that, that it will rain tomorrow. Um, so, you predict the future. For example, 
you say, I think I will go to Metro Centro tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I think I will go. Or um, you can say, I, I can predict, for example, mm, probably all my students will be present on Monday's session because it's the last one. I don't have evidence, but I am making a prediction, okay? Um, and you have two examples here. Uh, let me check. Jackie, can you please read the two examples for predictions? Yes. Okay. Um, I think a famous chef will come to the event. To the event. Uh -huh. In the event. Thank you. The manager will prepare a new training for hosts. For hosts. That's correct. So uh, normal predictions, right? Uh, tomorrow will be a crazy day. Why? Because it's Saturday and some people from the government get paid. So there will be a lot of people in the streets driving, going to the to the cashiers or to the ATM, sorry. Um, so you make a prediction, right? But you don't have a lot of evidence. You're just making a prediction. Maybe nobody will go out. Okay, so the second use of um, will is for decisions that you make spontaneously at the moment, right? Right now, for example, uh, I need a volunteer to read the examples. I will do it, teacher. So that's something spontaneous. You make a decision to, to participate. So who wants to who wants to read? I will. Do it. I will. I will. Okay. So I will. Francisco, I will. So uh, uh, Francisco, read the examples, please. Uh, yes. Um, can Consumers? I have? Can I have a question? Sure. After. Yeah. Uh, we use will when, for example, when we use, when we when we to do a promise. Ah, that is go. number three. We're going to get there in ah. a moment. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, no, it's okay. Uh, You're anticipating that. That's good. Uh -huh. Consumers. Number two. Yeah. Consumers. Uh, Consumers are complaining about uh slow service okay ne i will i will talk to the staff to the staff okay number two number two that server use spilling the spill the soup spill the soup on the customer on the customer i will call the manager i will call the manager okay uh, an idiom okay don't don't spill the beans. Don't spill the beans. That's an expression to say, uh, uh, for example, there's a secret, right? Don't, there's a secret and there's a surprise for Karen because she's not here right now. So when she enters the class, we're going to sing the happy birthday to her. Okay, don't spill the beans. That means uh, don't say anything, right? Don't reveal the secret. So don't spill the beans. Um, so that's the Can example. we do that for real? <laughs> no, but, but I, 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 well, I saw one, one case where they did that. Um, uh, now we're going to, uh, keep in mind, right? Number one for predictions when you don't have any evidence. Number two for decisions that you make at the moment, right? For example, if you see somebody, uh, an old person crossing the street and there's a lot of traffic and you are walking nearby, what decision do you make in that moment? What do you tell the, the, the person? What do, you, what do you tell the person? Can I help you? I will help you. I will help you, I will help you okay? I will help you. Uh, if you see that somebody is carrying like your husband your wife your sister etc cetera, etc cetera, is carrying a lot of bags from the supermarket and he or she is trying to open the door and you are arriving to the house 
what do you tell your your that person you have something for me i will <laughs> <laughs> hurry up i want to answer too okay so now uh, you say if i will you're, help you right? if you're not i don't open i don't uh, uh, I, I, don't I will, will open, open your door i will the open door. the door right so you make a decision at the moment right uh, yes. um, so uh, if i say okay guys um uh, right now i cannot speak too much Okay, so I need volunteers to, to read and give the indications. Okay, teacher, we will do it. Don't worry. Okay, so like that. Okay, if somebody says, I don't have money. Okay, we will give you money. No, right? But That's right. It's an example, guys. So no, we're not collecting <laughs> money here. So, um, the teacher is going to be generous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't if spill I, if, the bill. Don't spill the bill. Okay. That, that would be like, no, the bill. like that, right? Don't don't spill the bill. Now we're going to go to the last one. We use will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. For this use of will, I always give the example about the biggest promise in the world, in the history, in the world's history. Do you know what promise that is? I will love you forever. I will always love you. I will love you forever. <laughs> you will oh always God. be the one. Okay, so that's the biggest promise that you people are make the in the world. You the only one. <laughs> you will always be the only one. Yeah, so um, that's an example. We use will for promises, okay? Teacher, I promise I won't forget to do the homework. Or I promise I will get a better score in the next quiz. I promise I will um, be on time in the next class. So I hear a lot of promises, okay, as a teacher. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's true. We use will for, for making promises. Okay, examples. Um, I'm going to choose Harbin. Okay, teacher. Okay examples yes i will be there at 9 a.m 9 a.m uh -huh. i will help you prepare the document for the training okay so you promise that in front of everybody so you will help me to prepare the documents and all the evaluations so uh <laughs> now complete the sentences using will and the verb in parentheses okay so this is a simple practice. We're going to do it together. Number one, it's complete. So uh, don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. Number two, any volunteers? Raise your hand, please, and say the complete answer or the complete sentence. Juan Jose. I'm sure, um, I'm sure you will have a good time uh, training. Correct. I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. Okay, reactions. Excellent. Thank you. Diana, number three. Raise your hand if you want to participate. Analysis, Don't forget. analysis will be a success. 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 Will be a success. That's correct. Thank you. Uh, wait a second. Who's next? Uh, floor, number four. <laughs> I promise I will do my best to get a good a good score in the evaluation. In the evaluation, okay. It's a promise, Flora. So we continue with the number five. Who is a volunteer for number five? Maritza? No, teacher. Try. She, she will not be uh -huh. late. To the meeting that's correct she will not be late for the meeting how what is the contraction of will not won't want want okay that's a contraction want. for will not want and rolando number uh, six please uh, the manager will work hard to help us improve to help us improve that's correct the manager will work hard Okay, that's basically what you have. Okay, so we're going to move on quickly. Uh, let me check how much time we're missing. Ah, perfect. Uh, we're going to uh, 
discuss this question right now. What would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? Do you think online courses are a good alternative option? So right now you're going to put yourself in the manager's shoes, in the human resources uh, manager shoes, right? So if, <coughs> what would you do if you can afford to give time away? That means that you work all day and the manager tell you, okay, so you're going to receive a training in the morning. So you're not going to work. You're going to receive a training. But what happens if in the company, you cannot give time away or time off to receive training. What would you do? Carrie, right? And uh, the second question is, do you think online courses are a good alternative option? So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms to discuss those two questions. As soon as you finish discussing the questions, I need you to practice uh, the conversation between Felix and Julia, right? Or Julia. So Felix and Julia, right? Salvadorian names or Spanish names. Um, so the conversation it goes like this or goes this way. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning an, an e training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference night. See you later. So uh, you are going to practice the conversation as soon as you finish answering the question. So you have enough time in the breakout room to practice the two things, right? The discussion and the uh, conversation, okay? So uh, for this, you will have exactly eight minutes. Uh, Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. <laughs> and we're going to see the breakout rooms. Perfect. So I think that we're going to, I'm going to, to leave the breakout rooms the way, the way they were so that you can practice only with one person. Ready, set, and go. Eight minutes begin now. Mention the pros and cons of online courses, okay? Because not everything is good, okay? Um, so check. Janari, let me know if you have good connection. Okay, Jackie has an invitation. Miguel, Brenda, Elizabeth, Maritza, Ruth. Okay, Jackie. Did you get the invitation? Yes, okay, perfect. Brenda, Jackie, and Ruth, you're next. Nice. Um, it's missing Brenda. Okay, perfect. And oh, so. Yeah, I am lost. I am not lost. So what would you do? Okay, Ruth is here. Perfect. Okay. Right on time. Okay. What would you do if you can't afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? So, so like, uh, you will be busy. I am take, taking um, e-learning training on no. kitchen stuff. No, what? Well, oh. the question, exercise number one, what would you do okay. if you can afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? Imagine that you are the manager. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, the truth, I, the, the first step uh, is to explain the, the activities assigned for the, for the new personnel. Um, I'm sure the the manuals for for to do all activists activists mm -hmm. that the the new co-workers uh and they need to do every day, for example, 
um, um, show the instance. Okay, so the, the do you think that on, the, uh -huh, the, the, the facilities, buildings. the facilities, the show the facilities. facilities. Okay. Um, Okay, okay. Um, uh, Ruth, wait a second. I want to make sure that Ruth is there listening or she can use a microphone. Mm, apparently, no. So I will ask you the second question. Uh, Francisco, do you think that online courses are a good alternative option? Yes. Why? Yes, I think that, yes. Uh, because when I, when, in my case, when I have a, a, a training, when, when we have a new program, uh, regularly we have a, a, a training for, for teaching a, who, who to, or, or what I need to do in 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 the system. Okay. For example, what operation what uh, I I need to to do if I need to move the goods the any place to other place. I don't know if. Yes, uh, no. so I think that, that I agree with you. Uh, online courses are a really good alternative option, especially if the people don't have a lot of time during the day, right, for work, because mm -hmm. of work. So now we're going to practice a conversation, okay? So mm -hmm. I am going to start with, Fel with Felix and you continue with the next one. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another, to another city. Mm -hmm. So like you will be you busy busy, busy busy sorry busy i am taking um a learning e-learning e-learning training on kitchen safety process this week but i can but i can take it from home cool i will ask for e-learning options next time yeah look at the time i am meeting some Friends, uh, friends, and um, at conference tonight. See you later. See you later. Okay. So now you start with Felix, and I continue with Julia. Okay. Um. Uh, well, I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to other city. To another city. Okay. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for ask for e-learning option next time. Uh, yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay, so I'm the I'm just going to uh, well, I'm going to stop sharing. You can try to complete the, the exercise number three with, in your notebook, right? Uh, okay. With the phrases from the conversation, okay? In the meantime, mm -hmm. I am going to check the other breakout rooms to check, well, to see if they already finished. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you so much. Answer. <laughs> okay, if you want, we can practice the conversation now. Yeah, yeah, you should. You have just one more minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. If you want, you can start. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I... Okay, if you want uh, practices the last time. I am Felix again. Okay, no problem. Okay. I'm we okay, finish. I'm we having finish. a training next uh -huh. week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like um, you will be busy. <laughs> I don't 
taking. You and look learning. suspicious. You look suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. I'm taking an e-learning training and kitchen safety procedures this weekend, yeah. but I can take it from home. Time news, I think. Yes, I think it's, it's, it's good that you have to feel like that because if you want to participate a lot of, I think you, you have to do it. Yes, I try to do it every time. But I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Mm. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Teacher. Hello. We need your, your help in something. Tell me. In this, can you uh, help us to translate this part here? Which one? Sounds like An you will e learning be training on kitchen safety. Uh -huh, safety. Ah, okay, safety procedures. Estoy tomando un curso o una de aprendizaje en línea, ¿verdad? Eh, sobre mm -hmm. procedimientos de seguridad en la cocina. Mm -hmm. Eso, Marit. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, <laughs> you were just waiting for me. Where, which mountains are those, Beatriz? The ones that you have in, in your, in the background. Do you know? Where, Excuse where me, teacher. What are, what is the, the place that you have in the background? Those mountains. Los Alpes. The Alpes. Please. The Alps? Hey, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, but I had a dream uh, El last night that I was, that I was in Switzerland. Yeah, I yeah, it's also like from that. From different countries. Yeah, I imagine uh, one day I uh, I have been there. Yeah, it was a beautiful thing. Call yeah. me, call me, call me, call me. I will call Floor. <laughs> floor. So, I'm going know, to, I'm going to you ask for you know, a trip. There's a ship trip to, a ship fly for Switzerland, let me know. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's check. Uh, well, everybody had the chance to practice the conversation at least one time. I listened. Uh, everybody was doing that. At least in the moment that I entered the, the breakout room. <laughs> I don't know if it was just pretending. <laughs> uh, but, okay, we're going to have the time to listen to some people, some volunteers uh, next time. And uh, <laughs> we're going to move on. Uh, wait a second. Here. Okay, so what is the uh, last assignment that you will have? It's about vocabulary, okay? So as you can see, uh, we continue doing something different every time. So the homework that you have from the manual is to complete the exercise number four, page 38. You are going to read and match the training solutions to the description. We have four training solutions, okay? So read carefully, take your time to write down the new vocabulary in your notebook, investigate the pronunciation and complete it. Okay. Um, so that's all that you have to do. Plus, plus the one minute speech. Don't forget about that. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance quickly to check that everybody's here. Uh, Freddy's. Jackie. Blanca. Okay, Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious. I'm here, I'm here. I'm Freddy Toretto right now. Okay, uh, Janari. I'm here. Leiva. The family is first. Family is first. I'm, yeah. I'm here, teacher. Attendance is first. Okay, I'm Ruth. Here, teacher. Rolando. <laughs> I'm here, teacher. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Rolando is Brian. He's faster than me. Okay, then we continue with Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. Here. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Marvin. Present, present. Laura. Present. Francisco. Present, present, teacher. Floor. Present. Diana. Present. One point less for Diana. Okay. No. 
She's not part of the family. Okay, I'm just kidding. Yes. So, Brenda. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> then, Mariela. I'm so I'm here. sorry. I'm here. Okay, and we have Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, perfect. Now, we're <laughs> going to go on. Uh, too much Fast and Furious, I think that. I... Sure. Okay. Uh... Jackie. Jackie's here. Jackie's. <laughs> okay, Jackie. <laughs> Thank I you. didn't hear my name. It's because you are in love, Jackie. You have a different kind of car, that's why. Okay, and Elizabeth is there too. Okay, perfect. So uh, we're going to go to the last part. And what is the last part? Trivia. Trivia? Yes, round two. <laughs> Yay! So, so boys versus girls. Now, boys, you start. Okay, the first question is for you. Ready? Don't help them, please. Boys, how many, do weeks, it, do it. how many weeks are in a year? Option A, 50 weeks. Option B, 52 weeks. Option C, 54 weeks. One year. 52. 52. 52, that's the first answer. Now yes, you see, it's, it's re redemption, redemption for Juan Jose. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. one point for very the boys. Nice, very nice, Juan Jose. Now, very girls. nice. Girls. Was correct that? Of course. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yes, yes. The question correct. is, uh, what year was Walt Disney born? Girls. <laughs> What year was Walt Disney born? A, 1901. B, 1902. C, 1903. 1901. Yes. yes. Please don't, pay attention that they are not using, they're not Googling, Google right? Okay, okay Google so it. camera's no, on, camera's no. on. Ah, Diana has the camera off, you see? Okay, next yes. one. Yes. Boys. It's because I'm eating. Ah, okay, okay. So liar. we're gonna believe you. So uh he's not a liar. <laughs> okay, boys. Who, I'm not so faster. Who sang the song yes. My Way? My way. Yes. Uh, uh, Sinatra. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, correct. We did the ocean. Wow. Amazing. Let's make it today. You are on fire. Okay. Wow, so, wow. Uh, <laughs> girls, question for you. Uh, which boxer was known as the greatest and the people's champion? Option A. Can you repeat? Which boxer which? was known as the greatest, greatest and the people's champion? A. Rocky Marciano. B. Muhammad Ali. And C. Sean Fraser. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. Ali. Muhammad Ali. Yes, two and two. Let's go. Let's go on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh. Chiripa. <laughs> How do you say chiripa in English? Google it. Okay. Uh, question for the boys. What is the most expensive home in the world? What's the most expensive home in the world? I can give you just one clue. It is a palace. Mm. They are Google it. Okay, that's it's a palace the time in off. Time, time off. off. No, time off. No answer. Okay. Sorry. Time no. off. Time off. So the correct answer was Buckingham. Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Girls, question for you. What is the name of the of a group of lions? A a herd. B a flock. C a pride. I herd. Flock right. or pride? Right. It's a group of lions. Brenda, pride. Pride. Are you sure? <laughs> you already said it. And yes, that's correct. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. We are but, the champion. You know, there are like three times. And now the champion. We are the champion. Yana is looking. Sangu. <laughs> but I didn't answer it. Okay. It was Brenda. Another chiripa. <laughs> yes. How do you say chiripa in English? Anybody knows? Bajate. Chiripa. Chiripa is it's in Chinese. <laughs> it says accept the reality. Chiripa. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. Okay, so guys, uh, the volunteer in this case is Ruth. Ruth, can you stay uh, for the last 10 minutes? I'm not sure if she can speak today. If not, uh, Maritza, please let me know if you can stay for the last 10 minutes or the last eight minutes. Teacher. Yes? No. It's not possible for you? So uh, let me check who's next. We have one, two, three. I'm not sure if you have good connection. Well, Beatrice. No, teacher. I, I, I it's not possible today. It's not possible. So after Beatrice, we have Jessica Yanari. It's complicated because she has bad connection right now. Yes, my internet is complicated. Yeah. Marvin? I'm sorry. No problem. Don't worry. Be happy. Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, guys, do you have any questions or comments before we finish today's class? And you no. enjoy your weekend finally? Yes. It was a long week, probably. It was a long week. It was hot. It was a little bit stressing. But we are close to the vacations, I, too. I, 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 yeah, well, the vacation is around the corner. So I hope that I helped you feel a little bit better in any of the classes during this week. Uh, I tried. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least for one moment, right, of the day. Of the day. So if you don't have any questions, guys, remember that we have the final class on Monday. So Monday. I need you to, to be on time, yeah. right? To have your cameras ready so you can put on your favorite outfit. Um, <laughs> or, or, or shirt, right? Because we don't, we don't know what you have at the okay. bottom, right? <laughs> so, uh, that's my pyjama. That's your pajamas, I put my right? pyjamas. <laughs> Yeah. Your BTS pajamas. So uh, I don't enjoy have. The weekend. Uh, take care of <laughs> okay. yourself, guys. God bless you all. And happy weekend. Be careful when you go out, right? You know that. And do whatever you have to do in the platform tomorrow so that you are free of any assignments. Okay. If you have any doubts, you know that you can ask me, right? And that will be all. So we keep in touch through okay. the group. And Right now, it's time to say goodbye. Hasta la vista. Goodbye. 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 Goodb
Uh -huh. So, ah, okay, okay, so okay. for that reason, probably they you use you hear that they use a lot of will because they and it's I, about, I it's guess, about work. And so I they can tell say you that I'm going to call something. you. You can say I'm going to call you. Yes, uh, but as it is, is it is not really a plan. It's it's more like you're telling them that you will do it, like a little promise. Hey, I will call you tomorrow. Okay. So it's 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 more like a promise. So for that reason, they usually use will in that con in those contexts. But when okay. you have a plan, for example, that you have prepared uh, a training or you have you have organized a meeting, so you you send an email, right? Hey, hey hello everybody. Uh, on next week we are going to have a meeting uh, on Tuesday at 7 p.m. about the security. Uh, in the company because we had some problems in the past. So when it's something that you have structure, that you have taken the time and prepared or organized, you use going to because it's a plan, okay? For okay. example, if I ask you about your, your vacations, you make a plan, okay? So where are you going mm -hmm. to go on vacation? If you have a plan, okay. you tell me, okay, uh, I am going to visit my my family uh in the united states or i am going to organize my house i'm going to to fix some things in my house uh, sometimes it is possible to use will and, and going to interchangeably right in, in a similar mm -hmm. way with no problem but the main difference is that uh for example if it is a prediction with evidence we use going to Hey, okay. hurry up. It's going to rain. Why do you say that? Because there are a lot of gray clouds on the sky. It's going wow. to rain. So you make a prediction with evidence. And you say but, um, the test is going to be difficult. Why do you say that? Because the the topics are complicated. So I think I, I think that is going to be difficult. Okay, for example, uh, we are reading today the chart when mm -hmm. the ocean will when we use will yeah and the, these are our rules yeah there are three rules in the in the chart that we studied today uh, are, are going, rules. yeah they are rules i'm going oh, okay. to show you uh we use there are three different applications right three different uses of the verb will so we have uh for predictions when there is no evidence yes. for decisions that you make at the moment so for example in right now right it was like okay who can volunteer to stay in the last 10 minutes i will teacher so it's not you didn't make a plan it's just a decision that you made right now so okay. it's spontaneous it's at the moment so in that moment you use in that case uh, you use will for a decision at the moment but for example if the decision is that you're going to get married it's not a decision <laughs> that you make at the moment, right? Oh, it's, this it's is like, a plan. Yeah, you you make a plan for that. Yeah. Maybe your well, your 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 girlfriend is going to make a decision at the moment, right? <laughs> uh, because you are you will propose, but you as a man, you make a plan. Like, okay, I'm going to arrange. I'm going to take her to this restaurant or to this place, and this and the other. So you make a yeah. plan, and you say, hey, you know what? I am going to propose to my girlfriend. And maybe she will say yes. <laughs> maybe she will say yes. So you you don't know, right? Okay. Um, and then, uh, or you can say, I think she's going to say yes because the last month she was talking about getting married, and uh, she she feels that it's a good moment. So I, I I think that she's going to say yes because you have a little evidence, right? Yeah. So um, yeah. and we use will for making a promises. For making promises or offering somebody to help, uh, I mean, offering help to somebody, like uh, the examples that we were discussing in class, uh, or somebody, one of your classmates say, "Oh, it's really difficult for me to practice this conversation alone." Okay, uh, I will help you. That's not a problem. I can do it. So, uh, okay. in those three cases, we use will. Um, okay. And as I was telling you, right, we can use going to for predictions when you have evidence. Okay. We use going okay. to for plans when you have anticipated, when you have prepared, organized everything. Okay. Um, okay. And you, you also use going to when you are sure, uh, sure that you're going to do something. 
Okay, thank hey, you. I got it. Are, are you going to go to the party? Yes, I'm going to go. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I already asked for permission to my girlfriend in my job. I'm I have to, to go die. to the party. Yeah, I have no doubts. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm going okay, to. I'm going you. to go I got to the it. party. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. So that that would be all. Yes. It's, okay. It's clear like coffee. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Harvin, thank you so much for staying. It was nice to clarify those doubts with you. And I will see you on Monday. On Monday. Okay. Okay. Enjoy see your you weekend too. with your family and uh, thank you. You take too. care of yourself. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye, man. It was a pleasure. Bye. My pleasure. Good night.